All right, you guys. Well, I'm Luther Ragsdale, broker and CEO of Platinum Real Estate. On the screen, you have my personal information. Um, LutherRagsdale.com. That's my personal site. My corporate site, PlatinumRealEstate.com. My fellows, my cell phone number. 404-513-5677 and my email address luther at platinum real estate.com that's luther l-u-t-h-e-r at platinum real estate.com feel free to write down this information uh, this is my direct information you can contact me on this information at any time i will respond i love text message so the best way to, way to always contact me is via text message. We have some great career opportunities. Um, if you're not a member of Platinum Real Estate, would love to sit down and talk to you. I will talk to you personally. We have two great programs. We have a 100% program and a coaching program. What I love about my coaching program is the coaching program, everybody that starts in coaching ends up on 100%. So everybody in Platinum Real Estate, the goal is to end up on the 100% program. I will personally coach you myself. I will personally um, help, uh, help you put together a plan, and I help you be held accountable for that plan. Um, so I actually take you step by step through the process of being successful in this game. I have been a coach for over 28 years, and one thing that I've learned, you guys, is um, – Agents need somebody that can help them uh, put together a plan and then hold them accountable for the plan. I don't make you do anything, but I'm there. I'm your coach to help you get where you're trying to go. Even the great Michael Jordan um, had a coach. So I think that, coach, that coaching is very, very important. Next, we have the million, excuse me, the million dollar producer prospecting workshop right now I only have a few seats left so I'm going to tell everybody right from the beginning um, we have over a month before this actually uh, uh, event will be held live um, and you guys I have over 60% of the seats are gone so I'm gonna to have to stop the early bird special really really soon um, but I wanted to give everybody an opportunity to uh, take advantage of the early bird special. So the regular price of the prospecting workshop is $99. Again, the regular price is $99. Uh, early bird special, only 37 bucks. So for limited time only, only wild space lasts. $37 for a full day prospecting million dollar producer workshop go to my web uh, website lutheragsdale.com you must register it's only 37 dollars platinum real estate agents log into the agent portal get your seat today um this is not going to last until march the 30th uh excuse me seats will not last until march the 30th so you might as well Get your seat now, early bird special, uh, before that price goes up to $99. We're, 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 we're going to be talking about prospecting because here's the deal. The key to your success, you have to prospect literally on a daily basis. You have to prospect every single day to be successful in this business. Um, so please, ma'am, please, sir, prospect prospect more prospect I think so um, we're, uh, we're going to spend an entire day from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Uh, the workshop is uh, certified by the uh, Georgia real estate a state commission you will receive six hours worth of CE credits um, um, but I would highly recommend registering now before prices go up um, so let's jump into this thing. Um, what are we talking about today? Today we are talking about listings. Now, I'm going to turn, have a little twist to listings. 
Because everybody, some of y'all have been in the business for quite some time, and you know, you always hear, hey, you know, uh, when you have a listing, um, um, you know, go on a listing presentation. And a lot of times, um, even brokers and real estate agents, they talk about what you should say when you get to the listing, how you should handle the listing, how you should present yourself at the listing. Even at Platinum Real Estate, you can uh, go into the uh, Platinum Real Estate agent portal and we have videos on you know, what to say at the listing, how to uh, perform at the listing and all that good stuff. But here's what's really missing. Um, before you go to that listing, the first thing, I wanna show you 20 questions you need to ask before you even attend the listing. Why is that important? Well, first of all, you know, you, uh, you want to set your up, uh, excuse me, you want to set yourself up to be successful when you actually uh, attend the listing. So you want to ask some questions before you even attend. And this is very, very important. Um, you want to ask questions uh, before. So today I want to take some time and I want to, you know, discuss 20 things that you should ask, 20 questions you should ask before you even go to the listing. So here's the deal. Typically, somebody calls and says, hey, Mr. Real Estate Agent, I want to list my home. And we're excited. We're like, yes. Finally, my marketing, my advertising, my farming, it worked. Somebody called me. I am glad I've got a listing uh, presentation. We jump in our car and we go over there. No matter what time, day or night, rain, sleet, snow, shine, we are going to that listing presentation. I know I get it. But what about this? What about before we jump in the car? What about when we have that person on the phone, we sit back and we say, hold up, let me ask you a few questions before the presentation to help me prepare, to help me um, do a better job and, uh, and, uh, and to service you and to give you better customer service. So the first question we, uh, we want to ask, is how did you hear about us? So the phone rings, you pick up the phone, and the person says, hey, I am interested in listing my house. The first question, question number one, how did you hear about me? How did you hear about my services? Why is this question so important? Several reasons. Number one, I've been marketing, I've been advertising, I have been trying to get my phone to ring, this helps us understand exactly what's working and what's not working. So many times we forget to ask, how did you hear about us? Simple, but very, very true. First question I'm gonna always ask is, hey, how did you hear about, about, uh, about me? Because that helps me understand where I should be investing my marketing dollars. So question number one, how did you even hear about me? Um, the next major question is, okay, before I come out, who, who else are you interviewing with? This lets me know what competition that I have in the game. Now, why is this important? Um, for, a, for several reasons. Um, first of all, I should have a master plan. I should know my competition. So I should know, um, okay, I see somebody's raising their hand. Shoot me a question through Q&A. Thank you for that raising of, of your hand. Please shoot me a question through, through the Q&A session, and I will definitely a uh, answer. Um, so... So, so, I, so I have this person on the phone, and one of the first questions that I want to ask is, you know, who else are you interviewing? Now, let me back into this. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we, we talked about the master plan, 
and every real estate agent that joins my company, um, we sit down and we put together a coaching program that is unique, specific for them. Because I realize no two agents will, will ever have the same uh, plan. Um, so in the My Coaching Program, it is a unique designated plan just for you. Now, a part of that plan, you should definitely have in that plan who's your competition and what's their strengths and what their weakness is and how you plan on competing. So a very important question before you even go out to the listing presentation is, who else are you interviewing? What other companies are you interested in? Why is that so important? Because if I know who I am competing against, I know how to compete. I know what services they lack. I know their weaknesses. So I can now talk about my strengths at the, uh, at the listing presentation. So a very important question. Who else are you interviewing with? This allows me to understand who's my competition and what weakness they have. Another question, um, would it be possible to sit down with all of, the, uh, all of the decision makers during our meeting? So when I am scheduling this meeting, I want to make sure that, um, that when I schedule this meeting, all of the decision makers will be available at the time of the Mimi meeting. Look, if the mother and dad both making the decision, I need both at the meeting. So many times we are so happy, we are so excited to get a meeting, what do we do? We just simply say, hey, uh, Thursday at four o'clock is great. You show up at their home Thursday at, 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 at four o'clock just to realize that the wife's there but the husband isn't, or the husband's there and the wife's not, and unfortunately they can't make a decision because everybody's not there. Um, recently, I had an agent in my coaching uh, program told her this exact same, uh, same thing, and she thanked me because it was two different agents going for this listing. Uh, my agent from my company and then another a, 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 a agent. The other agent did not have both decision makers there, so guess what? They said, we're going to have to get back to you after I speak to my husband. My agent had both decision makers there. They liked the presentation and they took our listing. Is it important to, uh, uh, to have all decision makers there? The answer is absolutely yes. Next, um, what's the name of everybody in the, in the family and what's the name of the individuals that will be attending the meeting? Why is this important? Because all of my listing, everything in my listing presentation, I customize. So what do I mean customize? I actually have the husband and the wife's name in the presentation. I actually have the decision makers in the presentation, so I am able uh, uh, to actually um, I, I identify them and make the presentation very, very personal. So, so throughout the presentation, and even when I introduce myself, even when I am talking to them, I use first and last name. It makes it more personal. And, uh, uh, and this allows me a opportunity to actually get the listing and to get the business. And indeed, I am prepared, and it allows me to be a step ahead of the other agent or the competition, or whoever else that I am working against. Another very important question. Um, when do you want to sell? Now, this is very important, because it's important for me, me to know the urgency of this particular sale. What's the urgency of the sale? And it helps me put together my presentation accordingly. If a person is not looking to list for nine to 12 months, that's a different type of a presentation than a person who is ready to sell now. 
Um, so knowing when the person wants to sell is extremely important on how I put together my overall presentation. Questions, anyone? I have the question area open. Any questions on anything that I've said thus far? Anything you would like to talk about in the chat area? Um, now, here's a question that I have for everybody in the room. Um, and I'm going to send this as a chat, and hopefully you will respond. Um, do you currently use do you currently use any pre-listing questions? This is important. Um, do you currently use any pre-listing questions? Um, yes or no? You know, I would love to know. Is anybody out there currently using any pre-listing questions? Okay, I see yes. Okay, great. I see another yes. Um, here's a question. Does your CM, excuse me, does your CMA ha have a suggestive price if they're not ready to sell for six to nine months? That's a good question. That's a great question. Now, um, if I am doing a listing presentation and the person tells me up front that, hey, listen, Luther, I'm not going to be ready to sell, um, um, no, I'm not ready to sell for the next, you know, six to nine months uh, because my job is relocating me and I will not be ready to relocate for the next six to nine months. Here's how I would handle that. I would tell them, here is the price of the home now. Here's where we stand at this time, but the price could change within the next six to nine months. I need to perform a CMA at that time. So I, I, I would make sure that my you know, person understands that, hey, listen, this is the price at this point, but in six to nine months, the price probably will change. So I need to uh, do, a, do, a, do, a, do a more specific uh, CMA at that time. Okay? Um, somebody asked, what do I include in my CMA? You know, that's a webinar all to itself. Matter of fact, that's a good subject for a webinar that I promise you guys I will go into in detail in the future. But the question is, Luther, what all do I include in my CMA? You guys, it's a lot. Um, but to just summarize it, um, I basically break down the steps and the numbers that it takes for me to come up with the overall value of the home, okay? All right, so that's just a down and dirty quick, you know, um, um, opinion on, on, you know, how I get there. Now, another question, uh, what's my opinion? on the CMA through FMLS? Well, you know, market analysis is, uh, is market analysis. And FMLS, first multiple listing service, and Georgia MLS, Georgia MLS, they both, uh, they both are just using data. And it's pretty much data in, data out, trash in, trash out. So it's really up to us as agents. You, uh, 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 you, you know, real estate agents control the market. Real estate agents control the value. Um, and I like FMLS CMAs. I like Georgia MLS CMAs. Um, I don't think that the system really controls the value more so than me. Me, the agent, on how I research it how I present it. Okay. All right, got a, a, a great. Question, excellent question. Somebody saying, Luther, um, if I do not get the listing, if I do not get the listing, so I go out to, to uh, do the listing presentation 
and unfortunately, I do not get the listing for whatever. Do I leave, leave all of the information? And the answer is absolutely 100% yes. I would leave all of the information. I would leave all of the information whether I get the listing or not. And a part of that information is going to be all of my contact information, how, uh, how I can benefit uh, uh, the client, the process I will go through to make this happen, and all of the tools that I have to uh, list the property and to get it sold quickly. So yes, I would leave all of my information. Next powerful question that I would ask is, um, why do you want to sell? Why do you want to sell this property? You know, you have a beautiful property. I, 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 I have asked you, when do you want to sell? Now my question is why? What is the reason? Now, I need to know this before I go into the list and point on point on it. So many times, agents ask this question in front of the customer. You need to ask these questions before you go to the customer. Why is this important? Why are you SSLA? Well, if the person says, hey, uh, hey, you know what? I haven't made the payment for the last four months and I am scared of foreclosure, that is screaming shark sale. That is screaming foreclosure. I, my listing presentation, how I approach this is totally different than the individual saying, you know, I want to sell this property um, because uh, the property is too small now. My, a, my wife is expecting another child, and, uh, and this house isn't big enough. So again, before I go to the listing appointment, I ask specific questions. One very important question is, why do you want to sell the property? Here's a question that I ask straight off the bat before I even show up to the list appointment, which, which is, at what price do you want to list the property? What do you want for the, uh, for, uh, for the home? What price would you like, do you want to list property? And let me tell y'all something. In this day and age, with Zillow out there, with Realtor.com out there, our uh, 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 sellers, will research the price. They will have an idea of what they want to pay for the home. The majority of the time, before you show up to a listing appointment, that seller is going to have the price in mind, what they want to sell the, sell the home for. Here's what most um, um, sellers miss. Most sellers miss our fee. They miss closing costs. They miss those type of numbers. Now, most sellers know before you get there how much they want to sell the house for. They know how much they think the house is worth. The problem, what they miss, is how to actually make the transaction happen. That's why we are so, so important. Before you get there, at what price do you want to list the property for? Next very important question. How much do you currently owe? Let's get right down to it before I even show up. How much do you currently own, oh, excuse me, how much do you currently owe on this property? Is this important? The question, the answer is absolutely yes. Absolutely yes. Now, I have a question that just pop, uh, popped up it says, Luther, do you send the pre-listing package before the listing appointment? And the answer to that is no, I do not. I will not send the package before the appointment. Now, the, now the question is why? Here's the deal, you guys. Um, my pre-listing, my listing presentation is... Um, more than I want a everyday seller to just read through. I want to give the presentation. I want to be professional. I want to show that I'm professional. And remember this, a confused mind says no. Again, 
a confused mind says no. So if I send the listing package before I show up for the listing, and if they read through it, and if they're confused, or if they misinterpret something, they can say no before I ever show up for the meeting. They can have in their mind, I don't want this listing agent, only because they don't understand something and a confused mind says, no, what should I do? Ask the questions, ask the questions that I am showing you today, get the information, put together the package, and then present the, a, a, present the package and all of the information as a professional at the actual listener, listener point. Here's another question here. Will, uh, uh, will, you, uh, will you take a listing that is extremely overly, overly priced and that will hurt you later if they are stuck on that price? Um, the question is, will I take a property that's overly priced? Typically, I use strategies to explain to my sellers why it's overly priced. And I also explain to them the circumstance. See, here's the deal. Most sellers, their goal is to sell the property. And if I can show them the correct price and is if I can show them the negative side of listing a property that's too high or listing a property that's um, overly priced, then it will do them actually – see. People really don't care about me. They're, uh, 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 they're, in, uh, they're in this for, uh, uh, for them. If they understand that the property will not sell, if they understand it will hurt them in the future, if they understand it will waste their time, if they understand all of the drawbacks of overpricing a listing, that's when they will say, you know what, no problem, I will lower the price. So will I take a, you know, the, uh, the very important part of this question is, will I take the, property, uh, uh, take the property that will hurt me later? I'm not doing nothing to tarnish my name, to tarnish my brand, to tarnish my corporation, or to waste my time. So absolutely, totally not. But I will still get the listing because I will overcome the objection. See, when a person says they want to over overprice a property, it is nothing but a negative uh, a, a objection, objection that I have to overcome, and that's salesmanship. So I have to show them it. Uh, uh, this makes no sense for us to overprice the property, and here's the true price of the property, and and it's my responsibility to justify the five the uh, the true price. And so I really don't have to worry about um, um, having to accept the deal uh, because it is overpriced. Okay? All right, next question. Next. Tell me about the property. Give me one second, please. All right, sorry about that. Um, tell me about the property. The next question. Now, this is not just a simple tell me about the property type of uh, question. This is tell me all of the details. I would like to know everything that you know about the property. Bedrooms, um, bathrooms, square footage. What do you like about the prop property? What concerns do you have, have you know, about the prop property? Why is this so important? Because your seller will sign a seller disclosure statement. So I like to know right up front, all right, um, is there any surprises that I need to know about? Um, is there anything here that you need to tell, tell me? Now, here's how you deal with this question. Wait, 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 wait. I start off very simple. Bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage those type of things. But then I will also ask, 
is there anything uh, that you're concerned about the property that I should know? And typically, somebody will just tell you straight out, Luther, you know, the, uh, the property had termites or the property had a fire or, you know, whatever the case may be. And these are, this is great information I want to know. So when I am putting together my listing presentation, when I am putting together how I present to this particular uh, uh, sell, a sell, 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 seller, I can then present correctly. Okay? Next question. What other amenities would you like to tell me about the property? And, uh, and that's where, you know, whirlpool, swimming pool, uh, uh, you know, what about the HOA, Community Association? What great good things can you tell me about the property? Now, it's very important that I know these things going into my listing presentation. Why? So many agents, what they'll do is they will go into the listing presentation not knowing these things, and it's literally impossible to put together a good CMA without knowing amenities, without knowing, uh, you know, what other type of positives, what other type of upgrades is going on with the property. I want to know this before I go into the actual listing presentation so I can, in, can include this as a part of my listing presentation, all right? Here's the million dollar question that, uh, that a lot of agents, you're scared to ask, but you should. I just get right down to it. What are you look, what's the most important thing that you're looking for in a listing agent? Period, plain and simple. What's the most important thing that you're looking for in a listing agent? What's the most important thing that you're looking for in me? Why is that important? It helps me put together my listing presentation. It helps me emphasize the strengths. It helps me emphasize that I have exactly what they're looking for, the most important thing to them in a listing agent. Question, please. The question, the Q&A is open. I am looking at the Q&A, have another question here. Please shoot me a question. The question is, um, question, can you tell me what goes into the listing presentation package? or where to find it. Um, well, first of all, um, at Platinum Real Estate, we have videos and training and more information on the listing presentation, okay? So any one of the listing videos obviously have great information. Um, at Platinum, we have videos and manuals and all that great stuff. Um, but to help you understand, um, one of the things I do with my coaching program is, um, and I know this particular uh, uh, agent, she is so sweet, and uh, she's doing an excellent job. Uh, uh, matter of fact, is I actually seen some of her great advertising on Facebook. Good job. Um, I, I have to call you about that. But anyway, um, no, um, before you go to a listing presentation in the coaching a program, I actually send you specific information, and we go over the listing presentation before you go to the client's house. So don't have a concern. Um, do we have videos? Yes. Do we have training manuals and, and all that? Yes. To you know, explain what goes into that listing presentation. The answer is, uh, is absolutely yes. But, but before you go out there, um, I will actually uh, review everything with you, and we will make, make sure that that listing presentation is extremely tight. Okay? All right, question. Excellent question. I like this question. Is it, uh, is, uh, is it less effective to do a listing presentation via video or in person. Um, and here's the deal, you guys. 
Um, I am old school, and I know there's new school. I know there's tech, a, a technology, and I know now there's all types of live video and video chats and, and you know, Facebook Live and you name it. There's a million and one ways to, uh, to do a presentation. And I love to use tech, a technology, especially when it, uh, uh, it saves time, it saves energy, it saves money. I love technology. Well, look at this. We are doing a webinar now, and there's hundreds of agents on the line. Um, and some of you guys are at the comfort of, uh, of your own homes. Some of y'all are listening at, uh, at work. So I love technology. But if it's possible to do it in person, that would always be my first choice it, uh, is in person. And I love to always look at, look at the actual home myself. So I like to meet at the home. Um, review the home, inspect the home, meet the people, shake the hand. So I love in person. That would be my first choice. Now, if I have a situation where I have a seller that's out of the country, if I have a have a those you know, a situation where the seller is out of, out of state, will I do a live listing presentation? Uh, uh, via vi vi uh, uh, vi 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 video, absolutely yes, but that's not my first choice. So I would try my best to do in person. That's my first choice. That's how I would like to handle it first and foremost. If I could not make that happen for whatever reason, and if the seller preferred me to do something video, I would do it. Now, you uh, you do have you know, the new millennium, they love video and they would prefer that. You have older school folk, I don't care if they're out of the country, out of the state, they're not fooling with computers and, uh, and video. So the question to the answer is, I would do what's best for the situation and do what's best for the seller. So I would never say never, I would never say I definitely would, it would depend on the situation, and, uh, and it would depend on my seller's preference. Excellent question, though. Absolutely an excellent question. Um, next. Next question that I would ask. Have you used an agent in the past? Uh, 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 you, uh, uh, you know, because if the property expired, I want to know why. And what price was it priced at? And why did it expire? Um, excellent question to ask the, to ask your seller. Hey, um, have you used agents in the past? What did you like and what did you dislike about your agent? Um, but this is very important. Also, if they say, hey, Luther, I have used one of your competitors in the past. I know my competitor's weaknesses. I, I know my competitor's strengths. So if they say, yes, I use this particular agent in the past, that is something great for me to know before I put together my listing presentation and before I actually make the presentation to my seller. Um, here's a question. Luther, I am a small company, but, a, but we are bulldogs when it comes to real estate. How, a, how do I overcome uh, come, come objections when they tell me they want a larger company? Well, you know, that's a good question. And, and I typically, even when, you, you know, I am blessed now, Platinum is a larger company with a smaller family feel. So, you know, our, you know, motto is we can compete with, a, with, a, with any large company, but we still have a small family feel. All of my agents have my personal cell phone number. All of my uh, 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 agents talk to me personally, which gives a smaller feel. But we have all the tools, all the power to compete with anybody and everybody out there. So I say that to say, don't get caught up on the number of people in your company. Because obviously, I take this question isn't a platinum question. You're obviously on a platinum uh, agent. 
But don't get caught up if your competitor is a national brand or have more agents or have more numbers or even have more listings because the key is the service and the expertise. You, you, you know, I have been doing this, y'all, for 28 years. Lord forbid is if platinum ever went belly up and I had to go back to one, me and one agent, I could compete with anybody be a, uh, because of my knowledge, because of my expertise, because of the services that I know that I can provide. So don't get caught up on numbers and brand name and, 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 and logos and that type of stuff. When you walk into a listing presentation, um, the person that gets the listing presentation is, uh, is the person that can prove they can do a quality job and they can get the job done. I wish I had a dollar when I just started uh, in real estate uh, uh, 28 years ago and I had an old truck. It had no air condition. Uh, the windows would not roll down. I was on hard times financially but I always competed at the ultimate level. That's why our corporation says Platinum Real Estate, the ultimate level. We chose the name Platinum because Platinum is the strongest uh, uh, metal in the world. It's the most precious metal in the world. More precious than uh, uh, gold, silver, or bronze. Top of the line is Platinum. So even years and years and years ago, when I was just starting in the business, I named my corporation Platinum. And our uh, uh, slogan is the ultimate level, meaning we do everything at the ultimate level or we do not do it at all. Why do I tell you this? Because agent, I don't care if you joined Platinum Real Estate and you just got your real estate license last week, you still perform at the ultimate level. You are still a platinum real estate agent. And, uh, and when you walk into that presentation with that mindset, when, when, when your listing presentation is at the ultimate level and it will be anybody's presentation out there, I don't care whether it's a large company, small company, what, a, a whatever, you can compete and win. I wish I had a dollar. For 28 years ago, when I was just starting in the game, how many times I gave listing presentations and I would whip those big companies every day. Platinum Real Estate, I only had one agent, but I would beat them every day because of performing at the ultimate level. And even though I was new and I and I only been selling real estate for two or three years, my knowledge, my expertise, how I carry myself was always at the ultimate level and I could compete with anybody. And confidence was another major part of winning every single deal. So don't worry about numbers, okay? Worry about always performing at the ultimate level. Next question. Do you own any other properties? Is this important? Absolutely, because this, uh, you might be talking to an investor who wants to sell multiple properties. Um, you might, uh, 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 this person might have a home and they're selling this home, but they're moving out of a uh, out of state or or, 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 or or out of the country, and and you never know. They might have multiple properties for sale. So question, do you own other properties? This also lets me know, are you experienced in buying and selling properties or is this your first time ever doing it? All of these things help me put together my listing presentation. Do you own any other properties? Question, now that I know if you own any, are you looking to sell in any of those properties? All right. So now I know that you own others. Are you planning on selling any other properties? Next, where are you going to move? Now, why is this important? If you're moving locally within Georgia, 
I might end up having a double whammy. I might, uh, I might have an opportunity to list this property, right? And when I list this property, maybe I can help you buy the next property. Very important. Where are you moving? If you're moving out of out of out of state, no problem. I can also I can always earn a referral. Oh, oh, you're moving out of state. Oh, you're moving to another private property. Hey, great, terrific. Tell you what I'll do. I can refer a, a, another agent that can help you in California. I'm not lit. I am not licensed in California. I cannot help you in California, but I can refer you to another agent in California. Then I receive a referral fee. Here's another powerful, powerful thing. Um, recently, had a person that was selling their house. Asked them these exact questions. Found out they were moving, moving out of state. But it was a corporate relocation. I contact the corporate office, and they said, yes, we are going to handle the entire move when they move to this other state. Okay? Now, Knowing real estate like I do, entrepreneur looking for opportunities, I told the relocation company of the corporation, and, and it was a major corporation uh, right here in Atlanta, Georgia. I said, you know, I would like to get on the list. Listen, I would like to get on the list so when your executives, when your corporate folk move out of Georgia, I would like to be the agent to list the house. Or when you have executives moving into Atlanta, I would like to be the agent, the buyer's agent, that will help them find a house. They said, sure, send, send us all of, uh, all of your information. Send them our website, LutherRagsdale.com, PlatinumRealEstate.com. They Googled me, they checked me out, and they said, Luther, we are putting you on the list. I have closed several deals now with this corporation with corporate relocation. What's the key to my story? Question, before you even go into the listing, where are you moving? Why are you moving? And if it's dealing with a corporation, might be opportunity for you to get more business. Or... I am selling multiple properties, I'm buying multiple properties, I'm an investor, whatever the case may be, ask the question can make you money with other opportunities, okay? So I, I already covered uh, this question. Question number one, where or where are you moving? Question number two, do you know any real estate pro any state professionals where or uh, wherever you're moving to? If you don't know anybody, great, got a referral. If it's a corporate or a corporate or reload, hey corporation, let me get on the list. But now you can see it's uh, it's uh, it's very important for me to ask these questions before I even go to the list appointment, so I can uh, talk more intelligently uh, uh, with the actual listing. Next, and this is for investors only, but I always ask, hey. Do you need to do a 1031 tax exchange? Now, again, that's a webinar all to itself, but let me just give you a quick down and dirty about the 1031 tax exchange. 1031 tax exchange basically says, it says this. If I am an investor, this is for investors and investors only. If I am an investor and I am going to sell a property, I can sell a property. I can take the profits, I can do a 1031 tax exchange, I can purchase another property and not pay taxes. I can defer the taxes. So 1031 tax exchange, it allows me to sell a property, take the profits, and no, I'm not going to pay taxes on this profit, I am going to take the profit and use it as a down payment in my next property. 1031 
tax exchange. Sell a property, take the profit, put the pro profit into the next property. This is called a 1031 tax exchange. I always ask, hey, Mr. Seller, you are selling this property. Are you going to do a 1031 tax exchange? Questions, questions, anyone? Questions, anyone? Questions, comments, any information in the chat, possibly? Questions, comments for me? All right, I want to launch a poll real quick. I'm going to launch a poll. And I have a couple of questions. The first question, uh, no, you know what? Let's uh, 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 just skip down to question number two and number three. Number two, how many questions have you used before? How many of these questions can you use at your next listing presentation? All right. How many questions? Question number two says, how many questions can you use at your next listing presentation? One to five, six to 10, 11, 15, or all 20 of them. How many questions do you think you could use at your next listing presentation? Question number three says, how would you rank, how would you rank this webinar? You know, you guys, I'm always, trying to get a five i'm always working for a five i would love to have have a five as a rank you know that's what i'm always working for as a five now I, now I, now and now i understand everyone isn't perfect and sometimes you get a four but lord knows i'm trying my best to get that five uh please please complete that poll before i take it down i think i have another question here question says 1031 tax exchange yes 1031 tax exchange that is for investment property that is for investors 1031 tax exchange that is for investors here's another question Um, okay, um, question. Luther, how do you compete when the seller says the other agent is lowering their commission? Here's the deal. Remember, platinum real estate, the ultimate level. So at platinum, we perform like the Rolls Royce, not the Chevy. So it, it, it is nothing wrong with a, you know, 1984 Chevy. But a 1984 Chevy cannot compete with a 2019, 2020 Rolls Royce. And we are the brand new Rolls Royce. Everybody see, uh, you see my comparison here. So whenever a client asks me to reduce my commission, whether I'm representing the buyer or I am representing the seller, I always emphasize Rolls Royce. Here's what I'm gonna bring to the table. Here's what I'm going to do to justify my commission, to justify the price. People don't mind paying for steak, and, and everybody knows a steak and Ruth Chris Steakhouse costs more than a McDonald's cheeseburger. Nothing wrong with the McDonald's cheeseburger, but the steak costs more. It's on a higher level. Whenever somebody asks me, to reduce their commission, my answer is no, because I'm platinum real estate at the ultimate level. Recently, I had a deal. A friend of mine asked me to help him with the house. I said, sure. Um, um, uh, 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 the, uh, uh, the deal was tight. So the other agent said, I'm going to reduce my commission to make the deal happen. I said, fine. She cut her, her commission 1%. I did not. I said, I refuse. I'm not going to cut my commission. 
Rolls Royce have never reduced the price of that car. Why? Because it's a quality car. You don't go into the Rolls Royce dealership trying to negotiate the price of a $450,000 automobile. It is what it is. I told them, folks, I'm the Rolls Royce. I'm not reducing my price. It is what it is. And guess what? She reduced hers. I did not reduce mine. Next question. Luther, do you take photos of the home before the listing appointment and include it in the presentation? Um, exterior, yes. Interior, obviously, I cannot. So, yes, I don't mind having a picture of the exterior as a part of the listing presentation, but typically I cannot uh, do the interior. Okay? All right, well, I'm looking here at the poll, you guys. Hey, thank you very much. It, uh, it looks like all of you guys have been uh, answering all, uh, all, of, uh, all, of, uh, all of the questions and Basically, I'm, you know, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, 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 pretty proud here. Uh, it looks like like 90% of you guys um, um, can use, well, no, it's more than that. It looks like it's 98% of you guys can use the majority of the questions on this webinar. So I am very, very happy that I've been able to say something that, uh, that will impact your business and impact your uh, your career. And 92% uh, uh, of you guys said I would get five stars, and 9% said I would get four stars. So I will take that as well. Hey, thank you very much for, uh, for your uh, feedback on that poll. Um, um, do, uh, 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 do not forget, you guys, Million Dollar Producer Prospecting Workshop, only $37. I would say 60 to 65% of the room is gone. Uh, we have a early bird special, only $37 for the early bird special. Regular price is 99 bucks. I am going to cut out the early bird special and raise it back up to the $99 because all of my seats are almost gone. So please, you guys, go to LutherRagsdale.com, register for the Million Dollar Producer Workshop, March 30th. Um, early bird special, $37. Regular cost, $99. Bucks. Go reserve your seat today. Uh, my last workshop sold out. We didn't have enough seats for everybody, so I had to cut it off. Same thing's happening now. Uh, we are still in the month of January. And the majority of the seats are gone. So after this uh, webinar, go to LutherRagsdale.com, reserve your seat, get that early bird special. Spe 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 and I am saying my disclaimer, when those seats are gone, they're gone. Last time we, uh, we ran out of seats. Uh, obviously, people weren't happy, but unfortunately, you guys, I cannot uh, uh, make the Wyndham a hotel any larger. When the seats are gone, they're gone. There's absolutely nothing I can do. Hey, you guys will uh, receive a email with reviews. Um, I would love to get a five-star review. So you will receive a email from me saying, please review this webinar. You guys, I work hard for five stars. I would love to have a have a you know five star review. So please, ma'am, please, sir, uh, if you learned anything today, please show your boy some love and uh, give me some five star reviews when you get that email. You will probably get it later on this afternoon. You guys, it's been great. The next webinar is going to be in two weeks, and I'm going to be talking about. The online script, how to close the online buyer lead. So those of you guys out there buying Zillow leads, realtor.com leads, those, are, those of you, you are getting leads through your website. Guess what? In two weeks, we are going to be talking about online leads. Very, very powerful. You guys, thank you for your time. I'm, I am, I am, I am, I am Luther Ragsdale. Feel free to contact me anytime.
404-513-5677 or my email address, Luther at PlatinumRealEstate.com. Thank you and may God bless you.